Good day subscribers, new YouTube viewers and friends. It's me, Ranch, and it's just after midnight here in uh, Ontario, and my local game store, one of them that I bought my boxes from, decided to do a uh, midnight release. So, here we go. Now, I said that I my first mythic, or my first foil, this is going to be a foil comet storm. So, if that be the case, you're going to see me get real mad. Oh, the freshness of this expensive cardboard crack. Oh, I'm just going to move the camera up so you can see the flap. Beautiful. It stays. Ooh. Pretty easy step. Hey, they, it looks like they put in something to stop the boosters from shifting this time around. Awesome. Look at how beautiful that is. So you know what, we're going to just do this the popular way and take all the packs out. I'm gonna put that over here. Alright, so everyone knows what uh, what's in here. Um, I'm not really shooting for a foil Tarmogoyf, but if I get it, I'll be pleased. Alright, they start off with the... Uh, Tip card of the front. And is it an Eldrazi spawn? Cool. Alright, so the first couple packs I'll do the commons and uncommons. The next ones I'll just go from the uncommons to the rares. Alright, Scion of the Wild, Tribal Flames, Mighty Leap, Grim Affliction, Repeal, Conclave Phalanx, Sundering Vitae, uh, Vaishino Slaughtermaster. A Darksteel Citadel. Mirror Enforcer. First uncommon is a Cumulox. Lightning Bolt. Beautiful. Off to a good start. Will the next one be a Remand? Nope. Uh, and our rare. Kozilek. Starting off, you know, pretty decent. Kozilek Butcher the Truth. So it is a 12 12 for 10 colorless, and it's an Eldrazi. So when you cast Cause Elect, draw four cards. It has an Annihilator 4 mechanics, so whenever it attacks, defending player has to sacrifice four permanents. And when it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, shuffle it into the shuffle the graveyard into your library. And our foil. Binding Soul Eater. Cool. I'll just make a stack here and hope for the best. Next pack. Alrighty. Thief of Hope. Scatter of Seeds. Telling Time. Moonlit Strider. Vampire L Lacerator. Cloud Elemental. Kavu Primark. <laughs> Soulbright Flamekin. Got Shot. And a Frogmite. Uh, Scargan Firebird is the first uncommon. Savage Twister is the second. Culling Dias is our third and our rare. Horde of Notions. So, all colors of the rainbow. 5-5, five, five, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. So, all, all, all colors of the rainbow, you may play target elemental card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Cool, and our foil. Sun and Blood. Awesome. I kind of like these new uh, disposable packs. They're pretty neat. Fairy Rogue token. Beautiful. <laughs> Thrumming Bird. Smoke Braider. Glint Hawk Idol. Raise the Alarm. Shrivel. Narcolepsy. Uh, Aqua Strand Spider. Dragon Soul Knight, Gut Skimmer, Alloy Mirror, Eldrazi Temple is our first in common, good reprint, uh, Compulsion Strider, 
Hearthfire Goblin, Hobgoblin, excuse me, is our second, or third, and our rare, Indomitable Archangel. So it is a 4-4 a four, four for two white and two colorless flying with Metalcraft. So uh, metal, um, artifacts have Shroud as long as you control three or more. And our foil. Concla concave fla Conclave Phalanx. Sorry, it's really late, guys. Last pack that we'll go through the commons and then we'll go through the rest. Gorehound Minotaurs, Blinding Soul Eater, Thrumming Bird, Aether Snipe, Raise the Alarm, Shrivel, Saw so, uh, Smash to Smithereens. Love that name. Commune with Nature, another great card. Dread Drone, Mirror Enforcer, Incandescent Soul Stoke is the first in common. Reassemble Skeleton is, a th is the second. Mortipod is the third. And our rare. Ant Queen. So it is a 5-5 five five for two green and three colorless. And it has a mechanic of uh, one green and one colorless. So uh, to put one ant uh, creature token on the battlefield. Or insect creature token. And the foil mana leak. Awesome. I know where that's going. Alright, now for these we'll just go straight to the uncommons. Oh, rest, great card. Tajar Swordsmith, Tajnar Swordsmith, excuse me. Rakdos Cranium, Silesnia Guildmage, and our rare Creekwood Liege. Awesome. So it is a uh, two-two for one colorless and three black or green hybrid. So other black creatures you control get plus one plus one, and other green creatures you control get plus one plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a one one black and green worm creature token onto the battlefield. Our foil, plummet. Awesome. I love that card too. Check to see the token. Insect. Cool. Turf, first in common. Flash Freeze is the second. Agony Warp is the third and our rare. Uh, Inexorable Tide. Inexorable Tide? Oh, I can't pronounce that. Anyway, it's an enchantment for uh, two blue, three colorless. Whenever you cast a spell, proliferate. So proliferating is basically uh, you choose any number of permanents and players with counters on them and then give them another. And our foil, a Moonlit Strider. Awesome. Soldier token. Bloodshot Trainee, Boro Swiftblade, Everflowing Chalice, yay, a Splinter Twin! So the uh, Steelers Midget's going to be uh, happy about that. So it is a Enchantment Aura, so for uh, two red and two colorless, everyone knows what Splinter Twin does. So uh, basically you uh, enchant a creature and you tap it to put a token. Uh, that's a copy. And it has Haze and then you exile it. Ooh, and a Hearthfire Goblin. Honestly, I'd like to see a couple Elish Norns out of my two boxes, but uh, I don't think I'll be that lucky. Start playing token again.
Devouring Greed is our first uncommon. Hikari Twilight Guardian is the second. Palaka Worm is the third. And our rare, Eye of Ugin. So uh, colorless still draws these spells you cast, cost two less, and then a seven colorless to tap, search your library for a colorless creature card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. And our four, what was it? Ding on the top of that card. <sighs> Great. And our foil. Ooh, an Evolving Wilds. It's not the uh, art that I like, but you know what? I still like it. I should I say it's not my favorite art? God, I'm tired. Ooh, Eldrazi spawn token. Oh, there we go. Nice, beautiful remand. I need some of these. It's nice not to have to pay for them. As a single. Good to pull. Mutagenic Growth, another good one. <laughs> Hearthfire Goblin and a rare. Alright, Mirror Crusader. So it is a 2-2 for uh, two white and one colorless. Double strike and protection from black and green. And our foil. Hmm, combust. Cool. I almost want to like save one of these packs sealed. This is so pretty. Germ token. Celestial Purge, Pillory of the Sleepless, and Rectos Carnanium, and our rare, Lodestone Golem. This is a 5-3 for 4, and basically non-artifact spells cost one colorless more to cast, and our foil, Fiery Fall. Nice if I got a foil lightning bolt out of this box, I'd be really happy about that. But I really want a foil Vendil Vendilion Click too, they're so beautiful, I love that card. Thrall token. Creepy. <laughs> non foil combust to go with my foil combust. Or no, did I get a foil combust? Oh, I can't remember. Too tired. Boros Garrison. Air Servant and a rare. Hercules Recall. Good one. So it's an instant speed for one colorless and one blue. Return all, uh, return all artifacts target player owns to his or her hand. And our foil. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! Oh, foil Mox Opal. Finally. Finally, I pulled a friggin' Mox Opal and it is a foil. Oh, God. Amazing. Please excuse me while I just leave this bad boy. Easy. Oh, uh, well, so much for the Comet Storm. <laughs> oh, my God, it's beautiful. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, so happy. See, I lo no matter what the people say about the price of the box, just pulling these cards is just fantastic. And for me, it's... It's worth the it's worth the cost. Cyberlink token. A vampire outcasts. Simic growth chamber. That'll look beautiful in foil. Electrolyzed to go with my giant pile of them that are on Puka Trade and are rare. Etched Monstrosity. It is a 10-10 for 5. Etched Monstrosity enters the battlefield with 5 minus 1 minus 1 counters on it. And then for the color wheel, remove 5 minus 1 minus 1 counters on it. And target player draws 3 cards. Cool. And our foil. Spite Bellows. Cool. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but there's like machining lines on the foil at the top here. Hmm. If the card was worth more than like a buck, I'd probably mail it into Wizards, but we'll see how many more foils are dinged up. Another Fairy Road token. 
Some for some reason I'm feeling Vendillion click, but I think I already got the two mythics, so it's not gonna happen. Eldrazi Temple. Crypt uh Cytoplast Rootkin. Vengeful Rebirth and a rare. Oh, there we go, another mythic. Una, Iona, Shield of Ameria. Cool, so it is a 7-7 for a 3 white and 6 colors, flying. It enters the battlefield, choose a color. Your opponents cast, can't, can't cast spells of this color. And our foil, Sickle Slicer. Beautiful. That was a good mythic, I like Iona, she's pretty good. Big fan of angels. Servant is the first uncommon. Demir Guildmage is the second. <laughs> There's Spite Bellows is the third, and our rare Spike Shot Elder. It is a 1-1 one, one for 1, and it has an ability of 2 red, 1 colorless. And it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. And our foil, Sign of the Wild. Elephant token. Beautiful death mark. Mearsmith. Cranial plating, great guard, and our rare. Mystic Snake. Very popular. So it is a 2 2 for 2 blue, 1 green, and a colorless with flash. And it enters the battlefield, counter target spell. And our foil, Flare Husk. Nine packs left to go. You know what? Got a foil opal. Splinter Twin as well. And a snake. Pretty good box. Kozilek 2, Iona. Not bad. Three mythics out of the box. One was a foil. Pretty good. And none of them. Oh, well, I already saw the foil, the, the foil, and it's not a very good one. Stormbrood Berserker. Mull Drifter. Agony Warp, and our rare. Profane Command. So it is X colorless and a 2 black, and you get to choose 2. Target player loses X life. Uh, return target creature card with converted mana cost of X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, and up to X target creatures gain fear until end of turn. And Court of Unculus. Eight packs. You know what? Can we get... Um, Rootkin Ally, <laughs> Wrecking Ball, and our rare, Swans of Bryn, Argol. It is a 4-3 for uh, two colorless and two blue-white hybrids, so that's flying. The source would deal damage to swans. This uh, prevent that damage, and the source control draws cards equal to the damage prevented this way. Cool, and the foil, Boris Garrison. Nice. Can we get a Noble Hierarch in these last couple packs? Please, dear baby Jesus, Allah, Buddha, Flying Spaghetti Monster, I love you all. Soldier. Tajna Swordsmith. Restless Apparition. Beautiful art. Culling Dice and our rare. Daybreak Coronet! Yes! Awesome! So, as all of you know, the misfit in this set, because there's not really 
uh, any other enchantments, but anyway, too, uh, too white for enchant another, um, uh, enchant creature with another aura attached to it. Enchant creature gets plus three, plus three, and it has a first strike, vigilance, and lifelink. And our foil? Hey, all right, Hercules recall foil. Sweet! Where are my, no, there. Huh. You know what? This box is amazing. I don't even want to open up my other one. A Gruel Turf. Oblivion Ring. For some reason, I really, really love that art. Borrow Swift Blade and our rare Midnight Banshee. So, for those who don't know, it is a 5 5 for 3 colors and 3 black. And it has Wither, so deals damage in the form of minus 1 minus 1s. And at the beginning of your upkeep, put a minus 1 minus 1 counter on each non black creature. Beautiful. And our foil. Alright, Death Denied. Love that card. Beautiful foil. Wolf. Incadescent Soulstoke. Artisan of Kozilek. Etched Oracle and our rare. <laughs> Alright, is that like a fourth mythic or something? Kiki Jiki. Amazing. Uh, Kiki Jiki for. Well, he's been around a long time, so 2-2 two, two for 2 colorless and 3 red. And it has haste, and then it has tap. Put a token that's a copy of target non-legendary creature you control onto the battlefield. That token has haste, and then you sack it at the beginning of the next end step. And our foil. Lore scale colt. With the same machining lines at the top. Easy stomach, you'll eat soon. Magic cards first, germ token. Carpulse and Strider. Dismember. Ashen War Gouger, great. And a rare. Lodestone Mirror. It is a 2-2 for 4 colors with trample, and then uh, tap an untapped artifact you control. Lodestone gets plus 1, plus 1, till end of turn. And our foil. Raven Flames. Cool. Three packs to go out of this box. All in all, no Comet Storm. I'm happy. Azorius Chancery. That'd look beautiful in a foil, too. Core Duelist. Great card. Glass Dusk Hulk. And our rare. Banefire. So, X colorless and one red sorcery. So, Banefire deals X damage to target creature or player. If X is a five or more, Banefire can't be countered by spells or abilities, and the damage can't be prevented. And our foil. Shrivel. Nice. Second to last pack. Worm. Tezzeret's Gambit. Lore Scale Colt. Palaka Worm and our rare. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. So it's a 1-3 for 1 colorless, 1 blue, 1 black, and has the fear, so it can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures. So whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And our foil. Tribal Flames. Nice. 
Last pack. Come on, Noble Hierarch. I'll draw Z, a spawn token. Spread the sickness is the uh, first uncommon. Scargan a Firebird is the second. Orzov Basilla is the third, and our rare. Precursor Golem. Precursor Golem, excuse me. It is a 3-3 uh, three, three for 5. So whenever it enters the battlefield, put two 3-3 three, three colorless golem card artifacts into the play. Uh, whenever a player casts an instance or sorcery spell that target that targets only a single golem. That player copies that spell for each other golem that spell could target. Each copy gets a different one of these golems. Weird. And our foil. Telling time, alright. How pretty that is. Alright YouTube, time for the recap. I'm not going to show all the foils, just the, the, the rare and everything, but... Um, there was only one remand in the box. Fascinating. Alrighty. So... If you skip straight to this part, it's cool. I still love you. I appreciate that you watch my videos. So, Lodestone Golem. Lodestone Mirror. Precursor Golem. Shadow Mage Infiltrator. A Bane Fire. Midnight Banshee. Swans of Bryn Argol. Profane Command. Mystic Snake. Spike Shot Elder. Etched Monstrosity, Inexorable Tide, Ant Queen, Indomitable Angel, Archangel, excuse me, Horde of Notions, A Creek with Liege, Eye of Ugin that has some damage on the top, Hercules Recall, non foil, A Mirren Crusader, Splinter Twin, and a beautiful Daybreak Coronet. First Mythic was Iona, Shield of Emeria. Kiki Jiki, the Mirror Breaker. A Butcher of Kozilek. And for the Foil Rare was a Hercules Recall. And a Foil Mox Opal. God, it's beautiful. I'm so happy. Awesome. Well, thanks guys for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, hopefully bring you some more cool stuff real soon.